So we are surrounded by a system that has rejected the purpose of Christ's atonement. What kind of spirit tells us that it is impossible to overcome sin? What kind of spirit tells us it's impossible to experience the fullness of Christ? What kind of spirit is saying to you it's impossible to be conformed to his image? What kind of spirit tells us that God doesn't even expect us to try to progress on in the path of being conformed to his image? What spirit tells you that your desire to be conformed to the image of Christ will offend Christ? What kind of spirit tells us that once we have been saved, there is nothing more to be accomplished in our lives? What kind of spirit tells us that when we have been saved, we are coming to all that God has and all that we need to do is evangelism. What kind of spirit tells us that because we are saved by grace, we also have come into the image and likeness of Christ. Therefore, today we can rest in our lives and do whatever we want to. What kind of spirit tells us because we are God's children, we are exempt from discipline in our lives? What kind of spirit tells us that because we are God's children, we are exempt from punishment and judgment of God? What kind of spirit tells us that we should be prosperous in wealth and we can claim whatever we desire from the Lord? What kind of spirit tells us that we don't have to take up our cross and deny ourselves and follow the Lord? What kind of spirit tells us that we can listen to Christian rock music. What kind of spirit is telling you, listen to Christian rap? What kind of spirit is telling you that you can wear Christian t-shirts and tattoos all over the body? Saints of God, all these imitations of the world have been brought into the church realm and Christian life. What spirit is that telling you that you can do this? What spirit is that? What kind of spirit tells our fellowship and churches to be wrapped up in sports and entertainment? The great two false gods of this world, one is sports, one is entertainment, underline. Many churches are involved in it. If you go to many churches in the West, they have basketball code and they have that code and everything, they come there Meeting is going on in one place. Others are having coffee house. Others are having basketball and baseball and soccer. For the church to be wrapped up in these things. Christian fellowship. This is called church. This is called community church. What kind of spirit has us ignoring Satan and keeps us ignorant of his devices? What kind of spirit is that makes people to laugh? Laugh and laugh like a drunken and fall. What spirit is that? When the word of God says, be sober and vigilant. What kind of spirit is that working in the church realm today? Is it not a time for us to weep and stand in the gap and prepare God's people for the day of the Lord? Ezekiel chapter 13. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say, Thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, their prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. He have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Instead of preparing the people for the day of the Lord, these prophets, so vain things. We have to be very serious in this present times. What spirit is really working in these systems of men, we need to realize. We do not understand this many times, as I said, what spirit, what spirit, and go through these questions yourself later on and find an answer from your own heart.